fiber optic cables can be a great tool when you need a lot of intense light shown directly on a specimen or any other subject. So here I have a very small specimen um, and the higher magnification you use, the more light you need to use. And sometimes overhead studio lights just won't cut it or they, you have the right intensity but it's not the effect you want. So here I have uh, fiber optic cables attached to a magnetic articulated arm. The base is held firmly into place onto the magnetic base of the imaging lift. You can see there's an on-off switch. When it's off, it's movable, and when you switch it on, it will be firmly attached to the base. To attach the fiber optic cable to the articulated arm, place the end of the cable into the receptacle and tighten the knob on the side. Um, here you can see you can adjust the intensity of light. Here it's at the least intense. Here I'll do that on the side so it doesn't shine directly in your face. So as you turn the um, intensity slider to more intense, more light can shine through. Towards the bottom of the arm is a red locking lever and as you move it up, you'll feel more resistance and it will hold the arm in place. So you see here now it's quite sturdy and as I move the lever down it'll unlock the arm and you can move it around to position it. What I'm going for here is I'm ha I have nice overhead studio lights like so that are pointing upwards towards the ceiling. What this means is when the light bounces back down, there'll be nice, even, uh, more diffuse light. And what I'm using the fiber optic cables for is to get um, a raking light over the specimen, which can highlight more details of the texture of the top of the specimen. So let's go see what that looks like on the computer. So here I have the specimen in live view, the top of the back more in focus than the rest of the parts of the body. This is what the fiber optics will look like. Here is what it looks like with the fiber optics and the studio lights on. And this is just the studio lights. So you see that this lighting is really nice and even, but when you add the fiber optics, you get all this nice detail. And here it does look a bit overexposed, but that is because we have the modeling lights on and not the flash, which will be the actual determiner of light in the image. What I have done is I have increased the power on the overhead lights, so it looks like so. So it's, it's the amount of light that I want. And then I very much decreased the power of the light on the fiber optic cables so when that raking light goes over, it's not overexposed, but it still picks up a lot of detail of the surface of the specimen. So let's go ahead and take a test picture. And here we go. Up the developed histogram, the light is concentrated around the center, which is what we want. It's not too underexposed or too overexposed. And in live view, those sides looked a lot more overexposed than they do now. When I zoom in, you can pick up some amazing detail on the back of this specimen from that raking light from the fiber optic cable. So here I can obtain different uh, kinds of detail that I want to be um, highlighted in the specimen. Here we can see a test shot of the same specimen with the same exact lighting, but without the fiber optic cables. And as you zoom in, you see there's a lot less. If you compare, and as I zoom in, but I did have the fiber optic cables on, there's um, a lot more detail highlighted on the back than in the one without. You see the inside ridges um, a bit more highlighted 
and here they're just dark lines. You can get an idea of the depth. So this is just a rough showing of uh, what you can do with fiber optic cables. And now let's look at how we can use these fiber optic cables with diffusers added. So here I'm just going to put a diffuser around the specimen. So we're still getting that raking light over the specimen, but we're having the light be more diffuse and those shiny spots that you saw earlier on the sides less noticeable. So here we have the same specimen and the same lighting set up with the fiber optic cables and the overhead studio lights, but we've added the diffuser. So here you can see that those shiny spots on the side are more evened out, they're spread out a bit more, and so let's see what it looks like when we take a test shot. So here is an image of the same specimen, the same exact uh, lighting levels and setup, with the overhead studio lights and the fiber optic cables that are being used as a raking light over the specimen. But here we can see that the light is more diffuse, but you still get some of that great detail on the specimen. Up here you can see and develop that the composition of the light towards the underexposed side, so let's increase the lighting intensity. All right, so here we are with the light intensity increased, and I really like this lighting composition. You can see on Instagram, the exposure is directly in the middle, which is what you usually want to go for when you're imaging biological specimens. And you still get that great detail on the elytra, but you get this nice, even lighting on the specimen. 